Okay, so today we're browsing Reddit to find the ultimate Python automation ideas and then building them out, like this one. My brother-in-law has the habit of going to jail all the time. My wife wants to know when it happens, so I set up a script to pull the local jail inmate rosters and then send me an email when his name shows up. It works pretty well. Okay, so I was browsing Reddit, just looking for inspiration for a video, and I found a ton of really great ideas and some also really funny ones like the one you just saw. And I figured I would make a video out of the best, most useful Python automation ideas that I found on r slash Python. So here we go with idea number one. I recently wrote a quick Python script that tells me when my girlfriend comes home. It sniffs the network for DHCP traffic. When her phone joins the Wi-Fi network outside, it uses the say command to let me know. This is a really interesting one, not only as an idea itself, but also as a starting point for other projects. You could really easily build on this and create a script that, for instance, rings the doorbell anytime someone connects to your Wi-Fi, or maybe something more useful like having it connected to some lights. So depending on who comes home, it will light up their specific room. So for instance, if I come home and my phone connects to the Wi-Fi, it would start my computer and desk light and then open up my favorite website or maybe start playing a certain Spotify playlist. That's why I wanted to have it on this list because it's such a great project to build on. Girlfriend just connected to the network. The next idea will be utilizing a little bit of web scraping. My local movie theater does $5 tickets on Tuesdays, including recliners, IMAX, etc. I wrote a script that pulls their website for new showtimes and sends me an email with links to buy. Don't have to manually search for tickets and I never miss out on new movies. This is a really clever idea from this person. It illustrates one of the most common ways of automation as well, which is web scraping. There are almost infinite ways that you can use web scraping to make your life easier. This can be used to get you notified when your school uploads new information around a test, or you can get information around public transport delays or cancellations from work or to your home. It's really useful stuff and such a great idea that can also easily be converted to something like getting you tickets to concerts before they sell out or getting you a new shoe when it just gets released before that sells out there's just so many things that you can do with this which is why it's such a great idea okay and the final idea is again on the web scraping note and that is this one i used python to get auto listings from craigslist i'm looking for a new car and send push notifications to my phone via gcm whenever a new listing matches my criteria all right, so this one I didn't actually build myself because it's pretty much the same principles as the previous one, but it's a new idea and kind of a new thing that I wanted to still keep on this list. And I can see this being very useful for people with certain interests. Let's say that I wanna buy a discontinued keyboard or a laptop that's really rare. I can then create a little web scraper that searches through my local secondhand sites and tells me if there's any new listings for that thing that I want. And then it just sends me an email when there's something new out. And that way I don't actually have to keep looking, but I can only check when there's actually something new to look at. This can also of course be used for something like buying or renting a home. Just scrape through the sites for whatever address, size and rent that you're looking for and then send yourself an email when there's something interesting out. All right, so those are the three best ideas that I found on r slash Python. 
And I've also added a link in the description to my GitHub repository that I created for all these projects that I built out in this video. And that can be used for you as a reference in case you wanna see how I did it. I do suggest attempting it yourself first to, to just kind of learn how to do it. Uh, but if you want a reference, there it is for you. And uh, keep in mind that you could probably do it in a better way than what I've done it. And also feel free to leave a comment on any automations that you've tried. I personally really like reading that stuff for inspiration and I do think that others are gonna enjoy that as well. So feel free to leave that in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.